that's it. Good. Just wanted to practice the same little uh, stay exercise in a different place, different distractions. Um, just a, as we did with the down stay, do it with a sit stay. Probably easier for her to stay in a down stay than a sit stay. But you can always just practice walking around her both ways as the distractions pass by. She's going to be focused. Good. She's going to be focused only on you because as I have done, first uh, you're going to do as well. First you're going to practice in your house, in your yard, in front of your house, on your street. Good. And then as she can handle more and more activities, you work your way up to coming to your local Home Depot or Starbucks or wherever you're going. So she was really rock solid in my yard, in my house first before I ever took her out in public. And if you do it the same way, just be a week or two of you practicing depending on how quickly you get my moves down. She, she can do this with you as well. But you're gonna have to practice uh, doing these things you see us doing on the videos so that she understands that she's gonna do this with you as well and not gonna do what she used to do with you. Nope. And I wanna, I'm standing here long enough because I want her to make a mistake. When she makes a mistake, you say no. Stay calm. Do that little do-over circle here. Put her back. We got some big distractions passing by. See how I was feeding her before the distraction showed up. And you're always keeping the, lo the leash loose. Always. So you're never, you're never restraining her. You're never holding her in place. No. She dropped a piece. That's why she wanted to get up. Hey, right here. So you're never holding her in place like that because that's not training. She dropped a couple of pieces, that's why. Here, look, I've got them for you. Good girl. If she does break out of a sit stay or, or, or something, you can do, say no and just do a gentle prompt to put her back. But in general, uh, you're always keeping that leash loose. Good, because a tight leash is gonna stress her out more. Oh, and here we have Amtrak passing by, very, very noisy. Hey, right here. Lots of stuff going on behind us. Still, the leash is loose. See how I drew her attention back to me? Eye contact. Good. And this is really difficult for her. A lot going on here, but always make sure that if you're practicing in this type of environment, try to end on a success like we are right now. Okay. <laughs>